Hi everyone! I'm so glad to have you here. Okay, I'm gonna take you into my world for just a little bit um, and share with you. I sing songs when I start my day. That helps me so much positive. And so, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Things are going my way. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for you. For you're in my life. Here's why I'm excited about taking you through five days of my positive life. I just took off my arm sling and I was just in my private group, which if you want to get on the wait list, I want you to just write it down. Okay, so that way I know that you've expressed a little bit of interest. So that way I can do a private email to you when the doors open. It's called freedomwarriorstribe.com because some of you guys might not know about it. But in the private group, I was telling them that I was up all night long and the body aches and all of that was hitting me. And um, I had to actually stay in bed till about noon but what I did is I got myself together and there's so much teaching I want to do with you on some other things but I was talking with them about preparing your environment and so forth one of the things that I believe for you to to um, to have in your life is a what I'll say what I, I would say like a game plan but I believe it's more than that it's reprogramming where we want our operating system of our body to start and it does take practice I mean you wonder sometimes when you look at someone who's had um, or who has something like cancer and you go wow they're so positive they're such an inspiration they have made a choice to be positive and to be grateful and they've and as they've done it, they've learned or they've become aware that it's become a warrior weapon for them. Absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt. So I hope that you have the book, My Positive Life. And over these next five days, I just want to pour into you. I went live today now at a different time. Um, but I'm going to go live a lot. And you can jump on. I might say, hey, I'm going live in 30 minutes for us to talk. Um, I'm just going to put it around um, my body. I mean, we are a group of women that are working through our pain and our struggles and uh, our weakness and all of that. So instead of the enemy saying, you can't hold to a schedule, whatever, you know what? We, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you that it's okay to... to Listen to your body and become cognizant of things in your life. So if you have not gotten the book yet, My Positive Life, um, after I post this, I will make sure that you have the link to the classes so that because I'll be loading them later and at the end of um, the week. And at the end of the month, I'll be taking these live videos off and I'll be putting them in a private area where you can have for, you know, the rest of your life, as long as you want, um, just as a gift from me to you, um, to teach you, to encourage you, to coach you, to, for us to bond together more. All right. So in this first part, I wanted, the purpose of this five day exercise is I want to help you unlock journaling in your life okay because I have talked to many of y'all um, in just little moments which I love you message me and you know we share something and um, our group has grown um, I think we're almost at 900 and um, you group of women you and um, Fibromyalgia Warriors and in Freedom Warriors 
are ha, has transformed into my full-time work. Um, I'm not looking at what I make <laughs> because I've been told I'm listening to really God. My faith is strong, and it's okay if if you're not at a faith place. Um, I've had to learn how to work with other women and coach and say and not apologize for my faith because I never want to because I don't want to take it for granted because it's grown so much and it helps me so much in my life and it does help me stay positive but the purpose of this five-day challenge is for you to to help you to guide you okay to unlock some pieces of you that you might not have knew existed and to help you find joy in the moments that you might not have even realized that you could have joy in the moments. So in my difficult night of pain, I, I was literally like talking to myself, right? And I was like, okay, seriously, I'm going to start off, it's my positive life and I'm in excruciating pain with an ice pack, two heating pads and so forth. However, we have the opportunity every day to choose to where our thoughts go and choose to how we want to look at things. And in Freedom Warriors Tribe, we are really dissecting the power of thoughts. And you might have heard me say it before, but I will tell you that one of the things, one of the quotes that has really helped me is when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And so what I did this morning is I decided to say, okay, well, the enemy out there that I can't see does not want me to share teachings or guidance or insights on a positive life. So I'm gonna make you hurt as much as possible so you don't feel like doing the videos. <laughs> And I'm like, you know what? I'm a warrior. So I got up and I put on, I feel like the bionic woman. I put on a shirt that makes me feel good, right? I put on these um, legging pants that I got from Sam's Club. And I put on my ankle um, sleeves for like strengthening your ankles. And I put on my hat. I braided my hair. I actually did some makeup. And I was like, I'm going to come down and do the first session with y'all in my woods. Um, I have a special spot. And we're going to talk about that a little bit too as the week progresses. You know, um, I would love to give you one challenge. And that is, even if you're like, I'm so busy, I can't get to it. I so get that, by the way. But even if you have to take it into the bathroom with you, um, I know that sounds crazy, right? I want to encourage you. I want to challenge you to just find 15 minutes today for you and close your eyes and do this with me. I am grateful. for this moment. I am grateful for this challenge. I am grateful for the opportunity to bond with other women friends that go through what I go through. I am grateful for this book that I have to guide me And I just want you to breathe. Separate all the things that might be holding you down. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to think about having a box. A box right over here. And those things that trouble you. That have been troubling you. While you get, take your 15 minutes to work 
on this with me to discover because you owe it to yourself. You're so beautiful. You might not even know that you are again. I say again, I mean finding you again. But these things that maybe somebody has said to you that is so close to making you believe it or the worry that you might have over a certain situation, whether it's money, whether it's loss, whether it's grief, I don't know what those are. What I want to help you is I want you to think about a box. Shoot, if you need to, get a jar. I wish I had to move my jar. But get a jar or a box, and I want you to put that over there. I want you to just put it in the box, and I want you just to lay it to the side and say, that can wait. That can wait. You may not fill out a whole page today. You may just find one sentence in you. If you tried 15 minutes and it didn't work out and you realize, wow, I only was able to be present with Trisha just in the video and I sat down and two minutes later, my child was hollering and I needed to answer it and then it snowballed into this and my family and this, it's okay. I want you to know that you're not a failure in anything that you do. The fact that you are showing up and listening to me at this time for you means that you've taken a positive step. Because my hope is that you believe in yourself again. You remind your thing, yourself of things. And I'm doing this with you. Alright? So, I wrote, and I didn't even realize, actually, when I had you close your eyes and breathe deep. Let me get this vitamin water here. And I want you to just think about the moment right now. What could you be grateful for? I say could. Some of you will listen, and it will come easier to you. Half of you in this challenge are in my Freedom Warriors tribe. And so you'll probably find that it's easier because we've been talking about thoughts, right? And how to reprogram them and how to set our mind first thing in the morning and all of that. So in this challenge, I want, I want you as your coach to write right here what you're thankful for. Is it something for today? Is it hard for you to look at in your life because maybe you're going through a divorce, you're going through a relapse, you've just got diagnosed with something and you're like, Trisha, I am just holding on to anything, anything that can keep me moving forward. So it may be as grateful as your baseball hat that you're wearing today. And somebody might say, if they were reading your stuff, which they're not going to be, you're grateful for your baseball hat. Is that all you can come up with? I'm telling you right now, do not let your thoughts determine the blessing of this right now. I see my little sunshine, and all of a sudden I have my little Sharpie pen. And I'm like, oh, I need to draw a smiley face as I'm talking to you. <laughs> I am grateful. There's my little smiley face. So I'm just going to write to you, write to you, share with you what I wrote. I am so grateful for this tribe of women and freedom warriors. I'm actually grateful for you and fibromyalgia women warriors to say I love you and I feel really bonded and it makes me feel connected and understood. After having months of not having pain medicine, I am so grateful that I finally do. I am so grateful that I'm getting some great doctors now. So I just wrote in the moment for that day, 
And up at the top, I dated it 8-24-2001. And I decided just to keep writing. So this person brought me joy today. So I actually, I wrote that, um, I think, in the middle of the day. Um, so it might have been around lunchtime. I have to say, today, my sweet Gabby girl brought me joy. She is my heart. I want her to live forever, and I put that in caps. So Gabby girl is my golden retriever. I just love her so much. She goes with me. She almost is like my shadow dog. When I don't feel well, it, it's just remarkable how she seems to know that. Um, even if in the middle of the day, because she loves being outside, if I go in to rest, she follows me, and she'll sleep there all day with me. Um, she won't cry and whine to go out. She stays with her mama. So she brought me joy that um, in that moment that day. Some other joyous things, though, I have to say, because I dedicated that 15 minutes to just being present and working through my positive life. Anything that I coach you on or I teach you on is literally something that I have gone through, experienced, or am in the process of learning and growing for myself. Um, so I just want you to know that. Um, my happy memory. So I remember Kurt and I playing backgammon in the mountains at a cabin and laughing so much. Now look at my face. I'm like going immediately to that memory. Um, we couldn't stop laughing and the mannequin in the bathroom. So we had gotten a place up in the mountains like bear den cabins or something like that. And we were having, we were having dinner and we were just laughing and stuff like that. And I was like, um, sitting there and Kurt's like, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm like, okay. Or whatever. Excuse me. I'm going to the restroom. Whatever. We're, we're dating at the time. And, um, he comes back with this little smirk on his face and he's like, I need you to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, what? And he's like, just go to the bathroom. I'm like, um, okay. So I go to go to the women's bathroom and I open the door and I about screamed, okay? Um, screamed, but it was hilarious scream. The owners of the, um, the place or whatever had put mannequins in the corners next to the toilets. So I saw this mannequin man wearing these like, speedos and he was naked and he had his like brown hair and just like a mannequin you would see in the store but i'm telling you when you open the door in the dark um you automatically think there's a person standing there and you flip out and so anyways he was he was standing around the corner and he just wanted to see my reaction and he starts laughing well what happens is then we both start laughing hysterically and it was just so so fun and we played backgammon and um, we did a hike in the mountains and all of those things and I just said um, wow I love my hubby and I need to incorporate some of those activities back into some of our playtime which I call date days okay now, the hikes, I, my mind could go to, oh, well, you did that hike, and there would be no way you would be able to do that hike today, Tricia. See, there is a paradigm. There is this positive side that wants you to feed into positivity and, um, and hope, and then there is this other spiritual side that's going to want to take you down. It's going to want to speak lies into your mind and say, and, and literally bring you down. I am choosing not to think about what a big hike would look like to Linville Falls, North Carolina today. Because I am so grateful that my husband is alive with me. I'm sending out a card right now to 
um, a lady who who's young. She's like my age with two young kids and just lost her husband to COVID in Texas. Um, and you might say, well, how is that? Don't isn't thinking about that doesn't make you positive. It wants to bring you down. How can you have a positive life? Because I believe the things that we have in our environment right now in our operating life is sometimes we get so busy we take them for granted. So by doing these little writings, I intentionally in this round of my positive life didn't want this to be a, more of a daily log. I wanted to just start unlocking and you become mindful where your attention where your attention goes. So I could, I yes, my heart is sad for Wendy. She's an amazing woman. And I'm going to use a piece of my art. So I'm so grateful for my art. I could have written that. That I'm so grateful for the craving to do art. Now I could focus on my arm and my shoulder and not getting a nerve block yet, not getting my MRI approved, and I could just go down that hole. Girlfriend, I could go down that hole so fast. However, I am choosing to focus on, I am so grateful that I have Dr. Bruchard who is helping me. He gave me medicine, thank the Lord. He didn't give me a hard time about that. Thank the Lord. I am so grateful that I have this cottage out in the woods because my brother-in-law and husband built it for me. All right. So I want you to focus on writing that first page. If you want, go over to the second page, circle today's date, write down what you love right now. I will tell you that in that, act, that day, I actually, it inspired me, and so I'm going to actually lo um, upload some extra pages for you to be able to do. And I might make a second journal that's just a log book. You let me know. Um, but I had, I, I wanted to put emojis here. And what I found is in the morning, I was like, yay! And then um, at 2.30, I was like, because mm, of my pain, right? Um, oh, at 12 p.m., I was like, oh, no, right? So I, I went ahead and circled that. This doesn't mean that you're fake in your journal. What what happens is to have your positive life, you're becoming aware of where you might go to in a struggling situation, right? And so I actually circled and I wrote, okay, I'm having... Um, I'm realizing that this is my second day of headaches and shoulder pains starting again, but my medicine really helped. So I continued just for that day because I had longer. I, I lost myself in writing. I love the writing. It's helped me heal in so many areas of my life, which is why I want to teach you and equip you with journaling. Because sometimes we get caught up in, okay, we go and buy the journal and we think it has to be like this and we get stuck on with our pen because we don't know how to get started, okay? Something fun I'm looking forward to. Hmm, what's a little miracle that I found today? That's what I wrote. Wow, this just brings awareness that I need to plan special times out with Kurt. So my mind was still thinking about that memory of being with him. I haven't used my camera in a while. So reading this out to you, an activity that I'm going to do to help be more positive in my life is I'm going to charge up my battery camera because we were sitting on the front porch this weekend and the birds were flying and the hummingbird came over and over and over again and the monarch butterfly was just coming, one big monarch butterfly. I don't know if they're phasing down because it's, you know, the time of year to phase where they start migrating. Um, because I've had like three, four, five butterflies at one moment. Um, 
and I love taking pictures of them. So that's being mindful of having the camera beside me, just like I have my journals and just like I have, you know, what I call like my warrior wear. I love wearing things to help keep me positive. Um, and then at 8.30 p.m., I, I went back because I was carrying my journal around with me. So if you can, carry it with you. I know I didn't make it pocket size. I made it larger um, because um, I wanted you to have the space to be able to write. And so I said, oh, I'm talking to my sister tomorrow. She just texted me. I haven't been able to chat with her for about three weeks, and I'm so excited because she had lost her voice. She had laryngitis, so we couldn't talk. And we had been talking every week um, at 1130 every Thursday, every Thursday. And that was something that we had a conversation with and was like, how can we stay bonded? Because um, she goes through similar illnesses um, like I do. My middle sister does too. So um, that is what I would like you to work on day one. I challenge you to find a little time for yourself. I feel like I'm giving you more than one challenge today. And sit down with this and fill out what you can on the front and the back pages of page one. And so what you're grateful for, what brings you joy, what's a happy memory. And then just go ahead and evaluate your day. Go ahead and evaluate your day. Um, I have a feeling that I will be doing some type of warrior logbook that brings awareness but I'm not sure I want to hear from you guys as you do this challenge with me do page one and day two take a snapshot and then page one and page two and then tomorrow we're going to talk about how to work through those thoughts that sneak into our mind without us possibly knowing and how to become more aware of where our thoughts are impacting us and how we can reframe them so we can build the life that we want. I believe in you. And for these next five days, I just want you to believe in the process. You might not believe in some of the things that I say, or you might not agree with some of the things I say, all I want you to do is I want you to have faith in the process. Believe that things are going to unlock in you for just greatness this week. So if you have any questions or have any comments, fill out in this group. Say, I did page one and page two, and this is what I discovered about myself. I would love that, okay? And then um, as we... Um, go through this challenge and other things, I'm actually gonna set up um, a teaching area with an app on your phone that you'll be able to listen to it again and again while you're in the grocery store, um, doing your errands, laying down in bed, whatever. And um, let me know your thoughts and let's see how day one goes, all right? All right, have a blessed day. I love you fellow warriors. Take care.